Hi, I'm Kurt, and this is Lantern Lab. Today I've got my 237 down, and we're going to talk about how to light a kerosene lantern. You've seen me light a white gas lantern in a different episode, and the kerosene lantern is similar but different. Kerosene is much less volatile than white gas. That's not to say it's less fl flammable, it's just less likely to catch on fire. Um, so we need to preheat kerosene to create the vapors that will actually light the lantern up. So again, as we did with the white gas lantern, we're going to start by giving her a good look over. We want to make sure that the, the mantle's in good shape and there's no leaks. Give the cleaning knob a couple swings just in case and make sure that the fuel cap is down tight. I also like to make sure that the vent knob is on loosely. If you grind this guy down real tight, it'll chip the porcelain on this lantern. It really doesn't matter. The kerosene man lanterns run really hot and they're really hard on the porcelain. But still, it's a good practice. I've got here an alcohol bottle I made myself. You've seen me make adjustments to the Coleman one. This one you can make yourself. It's no big deal. Uh, I'm going to fill a preheat cup that's inside the lantern. And it's quite cold out today, so I'm going to make sure I get the preheat cup full pretty well to the top. When it's warm out, you don't have to bother uh, so much for two reasons. When it's warm out, um, you don't need as much heat to preheat the, uh, the lantern. And when it's warm out, the alcohol is more volatile and it's easier to light. Because it's cold, if I don't preheat the, if I don't fill the preheat cup totally to the top, I won't actually be able to get the alcohol to light on fire. This is going to burn for about five minutes, and pretty much all we're going to do is hang out. About out now. Frank open the valve. With a big poof, we get the light. The 237 is a 500 candle power lantern, so so really crank out the light. It also cranks out the noise and slurps down the fuel. 237 will use up a gallon of kerosene in no time at all. You'll notice that the, the tank on this is quite large. Well now there's two ways to shut down a kerosene lantern. We could vent the tank or we could just turn the valve off. Both will work equally well, but probably venting the tank is a little faster. Shutting the valve off though will keep you from accidentally having the valve open when you pump pressure into the tank. And I've done that a couple times and it really is a mess. It's probably still a good idea to take the pressure out after the, the lantern has completely gone out though. And again, we'll want to watch for the, the flame to completely go away at the top of the mantle where the burner is. But realistically, since it's a kerosene lantern, it's nowhere near as dangerous as, as a white gas lantern is. And we're out. Well, this has been Lantern Lab. Be safe, but have fun.